So here we have a more complex uh, example. So internet is, internet addresses are made up of 32-bit strings, and a bit is just um, an alphabet of zero or one. So there are two choices, just a binary number. So the internet address is split into uh, a network number and a local no address. So here we have three cases or three classes, and we want to find out how the possibilities for each class. So class A, um, here are the specifications for it. It starts with a zero. So it starts with a zero, followed by a seven-bit network number. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's our network number. And then a 24-bit local address. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And our conditions are the network number cannot be all zeros or all ones. And the local address cannot be all ones. Alright, so our possibilities are for the first letter, for the first place, we have either a 0 or a 1. I'll just use a different color here. So we have a 0 or a 1. 0, 1. 0, 1 for all. Since here we have repetition allowed, so for all um, places we have a, a, uh, a choice between a 0 or a 1. So the possibilities here is 2. So you have 2 choices times 2 choices here two choices. For each one you have two choices in total. And the same thing goes for the local address. You have two choices for each position. And so in total you're gonna have the zero is preset. Then you have, so let's say you have one choice here. So one times two to the power of seven um, times two to the power of twenty-one. So that's how many cases you have for a 7-bit network number and a 24 local address. But remember that the network number cannot be all zeros or all ones and the local address cannot be all ones. So you have to subtract those two cases. So you have 2 to the power of 7 minus 2. Uh, 2 is the case for one case for all zeros and one case for all ones. And this will be multiplied by, 20, by 2 to the power of 21 minus 1. And that will be the case for um, the case where uh, the local address is all ones. And now we have class B. So this starts with a one zero. So you have one choice for the first position, one choice for the second position, and then you have a fourteen bit um, network number. So fourteen bit, and then you have a sixteen bit local address. And likewise, we have a 0, 1 for each position. So, a 0 or a 1. And that will give you a 2 for two, cha two choices for each um, position. So, you have 1 times 1 for the first and second position. And then 2 times 2 times 2 for all the upcoming positions. And that will be a total of 2 to the power of um, 14 times 2 to the power of 16. Then again, we have um, the network number can be all zeros or all ones. And that will be two cases. So the network number is going to be 2 times 14 minus 2. And this will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 16. So this is network number. And the 2 to the power of 16 is the local address. And that's how the number of ways to rearrange the address. For class B. And lastly we have class C. And that one starts with the 110. So the first three positions are already given to us. Then we have um, 21 bits and 8 bits local address so 8 bit local address so your local we have the network so you have a one 
cho one choice for the first position, one choice for the second position, one choice for the third position, and then two two choices for all the next positions. So two to, to the power of um, twenty one times two to the power of eight. But again, you have the local address cannot be all ones or all zeros. So that's twenty one or two to the power of twenty one. Sorry, times two to the power of eight minus two. And here it is the local address. And again, the two is for the case one is for the case of zeros, one is for the case of ones. And that's the number of ways to rearrange um, class C. Alright, so in this example we have how many ways can you go from A to B if you're allowed to only go move left and up, oh sorry, right and up. So let's let's take a smaller example here. Let's say you want to get from, I just pick a more visible color. So from zero one zero to three one. So the ways you can go is that's one way. Um, that's another way. And the last way will be going all the way up and to the right. So in total, there are three ways. That's by brute forcing it. But by permutation, you have 3 minus 1 times uh, plus 1 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 1 factorial. And up here, you got factorial as well. So that will be equal to 4 factorial. No, um, 3 factorial divided by um, 2 factorial which is equal to 3 so 3 ways and now let's apply this to the bigger picture here so here you have from 5 to 2 that is 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 steps so 3 rights and there are from um, 3 to 1 so that's 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2 ups. So you have 3 rights and 2 ups. And that way you can have R, R, U, U, R, or R, U, U, R, R, or um, U, R, U, R, R, and so on. So since, since we have repetition here, then n is equal to um, t5, and r is equal to 5 as well. So 5 factorial divided by um, 5 minus 5 factorial times, remember you have 3 r's, of the, they're the same, so 3 factorial for the r's, and 2 factorials for the u's. And that was the same thing with the words except here you're dealing with directions. That will give you 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So 120 divided by um, 6 times 2, which is 12. So I think it's 10. So 10 ways to go from point A to point B. In the last example, we have three men and three women that want to sit um, man, woman, man, woman. So all men have to be, have a woman next to them. And let X's be men and O's be, uh, be women. So how, you, how you're going to do this is, let's say A, B, C, D, just label the positions. So now what you want to do is force a man to sit in A. So here you're forced to have a, ma a male. And B will surely be a female. So you have three choices of females for B. So there's B. And then C, you have to, you must have a male. And since we used one for the first position, then you only have two left. So let's say M and F. And then for a D, you must have an, a female. And that will give you D is equal to two, So since there are two females left. 
now um, for E, you only have one male left. Um, so male, and you have E is equal to 1. And then for F, you have a female left, and that's going to be one, fe one female. Then if you multiply all positions, you'll have 3 times 2 times 2 times 1 times 1. And that would be the 12 ways. So that's the number of ways you can rearrange the table so you get male, female, male, female, male, female. Alright, I hope this video made some sense and I'll see you in the next tutorial.